So guys, I'm going to show you how you can get ideas on which niche you are going to create for our new for your new blog using Mediavine. So here, when you are in the homepage of Mediavine, you just need to type in this URL right here, mediavine.com slash sellers.json. So when we paste that in our browser, just like that, we'll see all the approved publisher website by Mediavine. So these are the list of websites, as you can see right here, these are the list of websites that are showing Mediavine ads and are getting ads revenue from Mediavine. So what I'm going to do, randomly copy some of the because we won't be able to finish this in a day. So what you can do is just grab, grab some maybe of the first 50 or first 100 and then copy them, come over to Plod and then ask Plod to extract the URLs of the JSON text that you're going to paste right there. And then we are going to analyze what type of websites we can get ideas from for our new blog. And you see right here, Claude, how I, we asked Claude to list the first 20 URLs so that we can pick some of these websites uh, where we think we can start our new, our own blog right there. So you can see right here, this is planted 365. So I'm, I'm thinking this is all about gardening and this one right here, happyester.com. So it's all about how I think of kids stuff, things like that. So what we're going to do, we copy all this, copy them. And here I'm going to use SEMrush. There is this uh, bug analysis right here. And then we can paste these first 20 URLs that we got here. So we click on compare. We'll see right here, these are all powerful websites. That's why they got approved by Mediavine. So when you're applying ads revenue or becoming a publisher in Mediavine, you need to have at least 50K web traffic per month. So that will be a long run for us. But what we can do is start by taking some of these websites and turn that into our own by just getting their keywords right there. So you can see right here, let's start with this uh, plant 365 right here. So let's analyze and check this domain. So we click this and you see right here, it's got 2.5K organic traffic and it's ranking for 6.5K keywords. Look at those keywords. There are lots of low competition keywords right here. Look at this, mango jalapeno. There are a bunch of keyword ideas that we can gather and create our own version of this website just by acquiring these keywords. This type of niche right here from uh, one of the websites that we got are from MediaMind. So let's take a look at the others. And this website right here, lovebakesgoodcakes.com, it's ranking for, look at this, 62,000 keywords. So let's take a look. And again, a lot of interesting keywords right there that we can see. Since these are pretty competitive, what we can do is we'll be filter the keyword difficulty to very easy. And now we've got lots of keywords uh, we just 0 to 14 keyword difficulty. So look at this raspberry zing or poke cake, chili cheese uh, tater, ocean water cocktail, and lots of other key interesting keywords that we can make article out of this. And I am thinking to go with this one because using the search volume right here, these keywords right here have good amount of search volume. So these keywords can be easily searchable compared to this one, which just having 170, 480, 210. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to copy all these keywords right here. And so I downloaded the first 100 keywords right here. So let me just select the first 20 since we are going to do all of this for now. I'm going to show you how you can actually put these 20 keywords in your new blood by generating new articles. So for those of you who are old viewers, you can skip this part because most of you already know the steps on how you can generate this type of these keywords right here, pretty easy and directly post them to your WordPress. But for those new, this is the process that I usually do for new websites after gathering the keywords. So here I will ask Claude to make black titles for these first 20 keywords that I'm going to trans translate as articles. So let's do that. And you see right here, Claude ha has given us these black titles, which we can convert as articles. So I'm going to tell Claude to remove a double quotes because I want to directly copy them. And here we will be using the service of this article AI generator because it helps me to easily create bulk articles as well as generating featured image. So we will do that. We will paste all these 20 keywords that we gathered from uh, SEMrush and also convert them, that, them to a nice blog title. So I'm going to copy them set right here in article AI generator. And here you're going to select your new website right here. So this is the new WordPress that we set up. And we added that using this link right here, add sites. For new WordPress, you just add your credential so you can easily integrate generating articles from here, from Article AI Generator, going to your new WordPress website. So don't forget to click yes 
So you can have the status as published, but if you want to make some uh, minor edits, you can set them as draft. So for me, my process is I usually set them as draft first, and then I will have a look at those articles that have been generated. But most of the times, uh, if you want to keep them published, that's fine, because Article AI Generator will produce a high quality article for you. But I'm going to show you my way, so I'm keeping it as draft. And then here, I'm going to select WordPress, and of course, I've selected my site. And here, I'm going to generate featured image. For now, uh, let me choose uh, GPT-40 Mini as my writer, and I'll keep it short for now. So these uh, 20 articles right here, we are going to send them now. Let's do that. Before doing that, I forgot to let you know that you have to install a plugin in order for you to easily integrate the articles. So here, in the Add New Plugin right here, we click this Upload Plugin, and we, we browse the plugin. So this one right here, we click on Install, and then we click on Activate Plugin. And that's it, no configuration is required. Once this JSON basic authentication is installed, you're ready to generate the bug article. So before doing the generating bug articles, you should be doing that. So this article will fail, will fail auto post, but that's fine, you can repost them. And as you can see right here, so I think these articles have, if we successfully installed the required plugin before these articles got posted, that's why they been posted successfully. And some of them got failed because uh, as I mentioned, before uh, auto posting you have to install that required plugin so some of them failed that's fine what you can do is you can uh, open this article right here and here you can do repost to wordpress just like that you can select this and then uh, do repost to wordpress and you can see right here article has been attempted to be posted to the selected wordpress site and you can see now uh, the wp auto post result is now successful so you can do that for the rest of uh, the failed articles right here now let's take a look at our dashboard. So we go to post. So these are all the articles that we put as draft. So let's take a look at one of the articles. Let's click preview. And here, as you can see, we have this ice cream cone cake pops the perfect party treat. So this is the blog post that we generated. And we have this uh, attractive AI image that generated along with our articles. And this is our fully optimized SEO friendly article that's being generated for us. Just like that. It has different formatting. So look at this. It has this bullet area. Uh, it's making some of those important words in bold. And if you look at the number of words right here, so even though we selected just short article, we're still able to produce 1,700 words. So if you select the medium length article, you will have at least 2,500 words, which very eligible to rank on Google as well as we generated this SEO friendly article. So this one is in draft mode. What I usually do, I click on edit post. And here, I'm going to just rewrite few paragraphs right here. If you are a writer yourself, treat this as just your draft of your article. And then you can have your own word. You can edit some of the paragraph right here. Rewrite it with your own words. Although it's not necessary, but if it's just if you want to do some of your own patch, you can do that. So what I usually do is I'll copy some of the paragraphs. For example, this first paragraph right here. I come to this uh, AI bypass filter and then copy this so that it will rewrite this paragraph. So this rewritten uh, paragraph right here, I'll just grab this and replace this one so that Ilgo will feel that you modified some of the uh, areas of the article, not just only directly posting uh, whatever you got from any article generator. So I paste that right here. So I'll do that for maybe two to three paragraphs before publishing it, which is completely unnecessary. It's up to you guys. You can publish it directly or you can rewrite some of the paragraphs right there. So I'm just going to do for two paragraphs just like that, save that, and now I can publish this. So let's view the post, and just like that, you modified one of your uh, articles right then. You can do that for the rest of these articles, or you can publish it directly. So again, let's view one more article, Fast Food at Home, uh, White Castle Burger Casserole. So let's take a look at this uh, interesting article right here, Fast Food at Home, White Castle Burger Casserole. So look at the attractive AI image being produced by Article AI Generator. And again, this pretty nicely done uh, SEO friendly article with the right number of words as a bold guy. So that's how you're going to uh, get your uh, blog idea. Suppose you run out of idea and you want to create a new blog and thinking of uh, which niche you are going. So here you can do this approach again, going to Mediavine and checking the sellers that JSON uh, data and, you know, extracting the URL and running uh, these to some of the uh, word tool that you're familiar you can use SEMrush free trial so you can have a free trial and then cancel it after the the seven day trial the 14 day trial if you don't need it anymore so you can do that process that's about it guys i hope you get something from this one and if you do please uh, leave a like and see you in the next one